Hi, this is Max from Recent Expert, and in this video, I want to share with you my personal rewire template session. As you may have seen in the video before this one, I mostly work in Pro Tools and in rewire mode with Recent. So I made this session, and it's a very simple template session, but what this has done for me is saved me hours worth of cable connecting in rewire mode. So I thought I'd share this with you guys to help you save more time and make more music. Uh, now if you want to download it, it's in a link to the description below. Uh, now let me go through the setup with you so that you can understand how it's connected. First of all, I made a conk drum designer. When you open the session, it's going to look just like this. So I created a conk drum designer and wired each pad to a mono mix channel, which gets mixed down to uh, audio outputs one and two here in recent and the way I did this is I just uh, wired each pad and it doesn't go to a direct output it just goes through the master section and from the master section to audio outputs one and two uh, this way you can mix each individual out from output from Kong through the SSO mixer in recent and still go through as one stereo channel into your master dough now, please note that when choosing a Kong kit, it's wired to come out of Kong outputs 1 and 2. So your entire Kong kit is going to sound through mix channels 1 and 2. And uh, you'll have to manually choose the output of each drum pad to be able to mix each pad separately in the SSO mixer. Uh, this is a bummer, so if you know a faster way to do this, please let us know in the comment section below. Just in case you didn't know how to manually wire each pad to each output, uh, all you have to do is select each pad, and here uh, you'll choose the main output LR, and then pan it hard left, and then the same thing, you pan it hard right, and then for drum pad number three, you choose output number three and four. I think it's already done, but but when you if you if you were to choose a con kit, you'll see that it it automatically wired itself back to the normal position so you'll, so you'll have to do it manually again which in my opinion is awful and very inconvenient but if again if you know a way to, to do this faster please let us know in the comment section below uh, so that's it with the Kong then I also created 31 other stereo mix channels each with the with their direct output wired to a separate audio output in Reason. Uh, this way when you create your instrument in Reason, all you have to do in your master DAW is choose the relative channel number so that audio can pass through to your main DAW. Um, and you, d you just do it like this. You choose your instrument, it gets automatically wired. And you can see in it, it's in channel 3 and 4 so when you go to your uh, master DAW, be sure to choose channels 3 and 4 for that instrument, or the channel you chose. Uh, so that be it. If you want to have the session and use it, it's available again for download in the link in the description. And all you have to do once you download it is to put it in the folder where your template sessions are stored. Uh, so I hope you enjoy making music with this session. I also hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.